they tell you as you're becoming a police officer, there's gonna be calls that stick with you forever. 22-year-old Molly Matheson. I found her body on the floor of the shower. But but a murder wasn't... That wasn't on the never radar. entered our mind. I mean, that was not even a thought. He shuts the door and locks it. You just never imagine, you know, it's gonna be you. You didn't want to report this at first. I said, I just want to go home. And my detective said, do you want this to happen to another girl? So that's when I went through with pressing charges. Your testimony, you're bruised, the rape kit, and they don't prosecute. Nope. And the next thing I know, he's on top of me, and his hands are on my throat. What's that like to have gone through this and a lot of meetings with police and essentially have it lead nowhere because they didn't believe you? It's hard and it's just lonely. <laughs> they said, we found Megan and she's dead. You don't see how this could have happened to someone you love. I know almost with 100% certainty he was probably responsible for it. The minute that we get him arrested, all these cases just start being filed. You have three different jurisdictions. In some cases, police were responsible for not going forward, and in other cases, prosecutors were responsible for not going forward. They had a lot of opportunities to make that choice, and for whatever reason, chose not to. I'll never understand that part of it, because then two lives would still be with us today. 